If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. That is how excited Auntie Yvonne is. Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you are all doing well. Have you been good boys and good girls? Hmm. She said yes. He said yes. Mommy, have they been good boys and good girls? Yay! Mommy and Daddy say yes, you have all been good boys and good girls. So let's give ourselves a round of applause for being good boys and good girls throughout the week. So today is a very special Sunday. You know why? Because it's the last Sunday of the month and it is the Sunday school where we are going to have a revision. You know what a revision is? We are going to revise all the things that we learned in the month of May. We learned so many interesting things. Do you remember? We learned about Saul becoming Paul. We learned about Jesus ascending into heaven. We learned about the helper, the Holy Spirit. Do you remember? Do you learn about how you can let Jesus become your friend? Yes. That is what we are going to study today. It's just a short vision. And then we have a special dance, a special song, and a special activity. And of course, we will pray. So it's going to be fun. But before we start, do you have your Bibles with you? Hmm. Some of you don't have your Bibles. I'm going to give you a short break. Go and tell mommy and daddy to give you your Bibles, your pens, your pencils, and your notebooks for today. We are praying, we are praying. Close your eyes, close your eyes. Put your hands together, put your hands together. Say your prayer, say your prayer. Have you all closed your eyes? Let's close our eyes. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunity to come together to study your word. Father, as we are about to start our Sunday school lesson, we pray that you help us to be attentive. May we listen to the word. May we apply the word. We pray for Auntie Yvonne that you help her to teach the word the way you want her to teach the word. This and many blessings we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Like I told you earlier on, we are going to have a recap or a revision lesson. Do you remember how Auntie taught you about the love of God? God loved us so much that he sent his perfect son. Jesus was perfect. He was really perfect. No sin. But he was up there in heaven with his father, God. Jesus came down on earth to take the punishment of you and I. We were not perfect. We were sinful. You know the things we do. We were lying. We were cheating. We were doing all the things we were not supposed to do. So Jesus came down to take our punishment. How did he do that? Do you remember? Yes. Yes. Jesus was crucified. He was hung on the cross. He bled. He died. Then he rose again. That's the good news. He didn't stay dead forever. Jesus rose again. He came alive. And all the disciples saw him. And they were happy that Jesus was alive. But they became sad again. Why? Jesus was leaving them. Jesus was going back to his father in heaven. They saw Jesus going up, 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 up into heaven. But before Jesus left, Jesus promised them that they will never be alone again. He promised them a helper. He promised them the Holy Spirit. So Jesus told them to go to a town somewhere and wait for someone. Do you remember? What was the name of the town? Judea? No, it wasn't Judea. Samaria? No, it wasn't Samaria. It was Jerusalem. Jesus told them to go to Jerusalem. So the disciples went to Jerusalem. 
Jesus told them to pray. They should keep praying till the Holy Spirit comes. That is exactly what they did. They went to Jerusalem, they closed their eyes, and they prayed, and they prayed, and they prayed. Guess what? The Holy Spirit descended on each of them. Do you remember how the Holy Spirit descended on each of them? Yes! Clap for yourselves. Like fire, but it wasn't burning them. The Holy Spirit descended on each of them like fire. And the Holy Spirit made them start talking in languages they had never talked before. They didn't even know those languages. Imagine. I speak God. Then when the Holy Spirit descends on me, I start speaking Ewe. Or I start speaking Russian. Or some language that I don't know. That is what happened to the disciples. They were all speaking in different languages. They became very courageous. They were no longer afraid. They started sharing everything that they were afraid of. You know, they were afraid of telling people about Jesus Christ. But when the Holy Spirit descended on them, you should have seen them. Remember what Auntie taught you? Even the religious leaders that they were afraid of. They started telling the religious leaders about Jesus Christ. They told them about the fact that Jesus Christ healed the sick, about the fact that Jesus Christ died, and the fact that he rose again, and that they saw him, and they saw him go up to heaven. So they were spreading the news about Jesus Christ telling everybody about Jesus Christ. When the Holy Spirit comes to you, oh, you become a better person. You are no longer afraid of things. And that is what happened with the disciples. Do you remember Saul? Yes, he's the same person. He's Paul. He became Paul. You are right. Clap for yourself. Saul changed. When Saul became Jesus' friend, Saul became a better person and his name changed from Saul to Paul. He stopped persecuting the Christians. You know what persecution is, right? You remember that word? He stopped killing them. He stopped putting them in jail. He became a better person. And then he started telling everybody about Jesus Christ just like the disciples. So, just like Paul, we also have to tell our friends about Jesus Christ. Just imagine there's a sickness, a disease that is killing everyone. And no one knows the cure. <laughs> you are the only one who knows the cure. Even the doctor doesn't know the cure. You are the only one. Would you keep it to yourself and watch your family, your mother, your father, your friends, your teacher, would you watch all of them die? No. Me, I wouldn't do that. If I know the cure, I would tell everyone about the cure so that they too, they will be saved. It's just like Jesus Christ. You know about Jesus Christ. So you have to tell your friends about Jesus Christ. Remember, the helper makes it easier for you to tell your friends about Jesus Christ. I know how sometimes it's so difficult to go to school when everybody is talking about the latest cartoon and you are coming to talk about Jesus Christ. But don't worry, the Holy Spirit give you the boldness you need. He will make you bold. He will make you courageous. And you tell your friends about the memory verses you learn, about the VBS songs, about the dances. You need to share the good news with your friend. So it's memory verse time. And today we are not learning a new memory verse. This is a memory verse you already know. It's in Romans. That's the clue. Do you know which verse are we talking about? It's in Romans. It talks about the love of God. It talks about Christ. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. So we are going to look for it in our Bibles. I want us to read it once again. And then we say it without looking into the Bible. Where are your Bibles? Where's mine? Where's my Bible? Yay, that's my Bible. So let's open our Bibles to Romans. Are you in Romans? Are you in Romans chapter 5, verse 8? And it reads that God demonstrates his own love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Oh, this is a very familiar verse. 
So we are all going to say it together. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. All the ladies, I mean the girls, you're going to say it. Boys, keep quiet. Let's listen to the girls. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Clap for yourselves. Now that the girls have said it, let's hear the boys also say it. Romans chapter 5 verse 8. But God demonstrates his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Let's clap for ourselves. So this verse is a verse you can always share with your friends as you tell them about Jesus Christ. It talks about God loving us even when we were still sinners. So always remember that God loves us. Now that we have done the memory verse, we have sung some beautiful songs, we have danced. One more thing, who knows? Yay! A special activity. Like I told you, it is not a craft. It is a special activity. Let's go back to Uncle Nanette's lesson. What craft did you do? Yes! It was a prayer chain. A prayer chain where you wrote the names of your friends. These names you have been praying for, I hope you have. How many stars do you have? Five! Yay! Because Uncle Nana says, for every friend you pray for, make sure you put a star up. So I'm happy to know that you have been praying for your friends and been putting your stars up. Now, the next level is for you to select the name, the first name on your prayer chain and talk to the person about Jesus Christ. On my prayer chain, I have Amma. So we are going to pray for Amma. Amma is the person that we pray for the whole week. So it's time now for me to talk to Amma about Jesus Christ. So I'm just imagining that Amma is sitting by me or she's standing by me. Amma, do you know about Jesus Christ? Amma says, no, she doesn't. Amma, Jesus Christ is the perfect son of God. He came to die on the cross to save you and I. He loves you so much 
and he only wants you to tell him to come into your heart so that you become a friend. Oh, really? I want to become a friend of Jesus Christ. This is Amma talking. Amma says she wants to become a friend of Jesus Christ. So Amma, I am going to pray with you and then Jesus will become your friend. As I'm going to do this with Amma, if you are watching and Jesus Christ is not your friend, you should pray with me. Close your eyes and say the same things that I'm saying and Jesus will come into your heart and be your friend. So Amma, let's close our eyes. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you for sending your perfect son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for us. We thank you that Jesus died to save us. Father, I want Jesus to be my friend. I want to believe in Jesus. I want to trust in Jesus. So Father, please, let Jesus come into my heart. Amen. Now, Jesus is in our hearts. Because Amma says she believes in Jesus Christ. She believes that Jesus died for her sins. So now Amma is a friend of Jesus, just like the disciples, just like Saul believed and became Paul, just like you and I. Was that hard? Was that difficult? No, it wasn't. You know why? Because you prayed for the Holy Spirit to help you to tell your friend about Jesus Christ. So the Holy Spirit took away all shyness. I was not afraid. I told Amma about Jesus Christ. That is the same thing you have to do. Before you talk to your friends about Jesus Christ, always pray about it. Pray about it. Pray to God to give you the confidence so that you are not shy, so that you are not afraid. And pray for your friend so that they will accept Jesus Christ. Always remember. You need to share the news of Jesus Christ because that is what God wants you to do. He doesn't want you to keep it just to yourself. Share Jesus with your friends. We have come to the end of our lesson and I hope that all that you have learned all through the weeks you remember. Now, if you forget everything, everything, which I know you will not forget, Try and remember that God loves you. That God sent his son Jesus to die just for you. Never forget that. And that Jesus is your friend because you believe he did this for you. And that Jesus is right here in your heart. And that Jesus is in heaven and he's in your heart. And whenever you feel alone, when you pray to him, he will let the helper help you. And the helper is the Holy Spirit. Never forget that. So, I hope that the helper will help you through the week. And you'll be good boys and good girls. You will listen to mommy. You will listen to daddy. You will do your lessons. Yes, I know you do your lessons from, from the house because you don't go to school. You will do all your lessons. You will do your chores. And you'll be good boys and good girls. Because that is what friends of Jesus do. So take care, enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you next week. Bye-bye. We appreciate you joining our service today. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the logo, and don't forget to like and share. See you next week. God bless you.